You guys enjoy the video. Kathy Griffin, like her floundering leftist buddy Hillary, is stirring the pot and blaming everybody else for her woes. Griffin continues to dig her own hole with her rather severe case of diarrhea of the mouth by holding an absolutely ridiculous press conference where she claims that Donald Trump is bullying her after a photo of her holding a mock severed bloody Trump head and what can only be described as in the style of ISIS went viral. It kind of reminds me of a bully on the playground who keeps making fun of all the other kids only later to find herself crying foul when she's called out for her crap. And don't get me wrong, I think Griffin's brain dead social media faux pas is completely her right to do as an individual. She didn't hurt anybody, she didn't threaten to hurt anybody, she just chose to display her stupidity to the world. And she admitted as much in her apology video. I crossed the line, I moved the line, then I crossed it, I went way too far. <laughs> My god, the woman is 56 years old. You'd think she'd have learned by now that certain actions can carry severe repercussions. I pretty much thought everybody knew this, but maybe we need to keep saying it. Free speech does not mean you'll be free from the consequences of saying what you said or doing what you did. When the chips fall where they may, suck it up. Don't complain that the chips didn't fall where you wanted them to. And for God's sake, don't start blaming other people because you decided to flush your own life away with a five minute photo shoot. Speaking of flushing something away, Squatty Potty, which designs bathroom products, is a small family business based in Utah that was previously featured on Shark Tank and is well known for its viral social media ad campaigns dumped Griffin after the release of her ISIS campaign poster. A statement by CEO Bobby Edwards read, We were shocked and disappointed to learn about the image Miss Griffin shared today. It was deeply inappropriate and runs contrary to the core values our company stands for. In response, Squatty Potty has suspended its ad campaign featuring Miss Griffin. We have acted swiftly and decisively to demonstrate our commitment to a culture of decency, civility, and tolerance. Now, Squatty Potty's decision to drop Griffin came very quickly after the photo was released to the public. But it took CNN the better part of an entire day to come to that conclusion, and only after advertisers like ADT threatened to drop their ads from the network if they didn't can the ISIS wannabe. You know something stinks to high heaven when a toilet company that makes products for crap acts with more speed and decisiveness than a corporate network news agency. And based on the earnings for Squatty Potty, it looks like Griffin lost a huge chunk of change. Huge. It's a huge problem. The huge problem. That is a huge problem. No wonder she's squealing so loudly. Hey, Kathy, I really hate to break this to you, being that you're broken and all. You broke me? You broke me. But you know you've reached the lower rung of the human experience when you can be a full tilt lefty and still manage to get disavowed by the crap news network. But getting back to the ISIS imagery damage control propaganda charade they called a press conference. Standing next to her attorney, Lisa Bloom, the 56 year old My Life on the D-List star said the firestorm generated by the photograph would have never occurred had the photograph been taken by a male artist. Okay, so hold up the mock decapitated head of a sitting president, get the backlash, which she was actually expecting, as you can see from this video. We have to move to Mexico today, because we're going to be in prison, federal prison. Yeah, yeah. Call your dad, apologize. <laughs> Let's you me and Daryl just go to Mexico today, because we're not surviving this. Okay. Then when the intended victim of her gory photos objects and condemns her actions, poof, all of a sudden she's a victim of sexism. Cut the crap, this wouldn't be happening to a guy. This is a woman thing, all right? I'm just gonna come out and say it. How convenient, how insane. It's almost like we're watching the leftists completely disintegrate before our very eyes. It's like we're watching a perpetual Saturday Night Live skit without the commercial breaks. So here are just a few highlights from that press conference. 
First of all, notice the backdrop for this nationwide press conference. Just a little plug there for the Bloom Law Firm. Hi everybody, I'm Kathy Griffin. Now everybody take note, because this is about the only honest thing you're going to hear out of her mouth during this entire press conference. What's happening to me has never happened ever in the history of this great country, which is that a sitting president of the United States and his grown children and the first lady are personally, I feel, personally, trying to ruin my life forever, forever. I, you guys know him, he's never gonna stop. What's happening to me? Hmm, let's see. I, Kathy Griffin, imitated the actions of an Islamic terrorist holding up the head of a dude I've made abundantly clear that I hate, and he is the one who's trying to ruin my life forever? Are personally, I feel, personally, trying to ruin my life forever. What the hell is going on here? This is absolute insanity. I mean, seriously, what would you guys think of me? Somebody goes, okay, Brian, did you hit the hornet's nest with the stick? Yeah, but it's their fault I have all these stingers stuck in me. It's their fault I'm blowing up like a balloon because I'm allergic to hornets. I, I, get what I, I get what I am. I'm the shiny object. I get it. We all know what's going on here. They're using me as a shiny object so that nobody's talking about his FBI investigation. All right, I get it. Shiny object? She's talking like she recently escaped from the funny farm. Guys, this is your typical leftist meltdown. Get yourself into trouble by your own deliberate actions and blame somebody else for the negative reaction you knew you were gonna receive. Kathy, you're not a shiny object. You're a pathetic crybaby who can't take a dose of your own medicine. I don't think I will have a career after this. I think he, I think he, I think he, I'm gonna be honest, he broke me. He broke me. He broke me? First of all, he didn't break you. You broke yourself. And the internet weighed you on the scales, found you wanting, and they're telling you that they're sick of your crap. They're sick to death of leftist lunatic Hollywood psychopaths thinking they can get away with murder while they cry and scream about every fabricated and embellished social justice. And check out this pitiful acting job. No tears, nothing but lies. She's trying to salvage a career she dismantled with her own hands, and she's trying desperately to get others to take her side. But Griffin's actions encapsulate the very essence of leftist ideology. And what is that ideology? If your insanity, hypocrisy, and utter stupidity backfires, forsake personal responsibility, play the victim, and hire a lawyer. And then I saw the tide turning and I saw what they were doing and I went, oh, okay, they're trying to spin this and they're making it about Baron and... Trying to spin this to make it about Baron? If this isn't psychopathy, there's no such thing as a psychopath. I know you're sick of hearing this, but Griffin displays the fake, dripping, severed head of a president she despises, and they are trying to spin this? Her garbage doesn't need to be spun. It is what it is, she did what she did, and now she's suffering the crushing blow of an ever-awakening host of internet users who are wising up to the cancer that's called progressive politics. It didn't work for Hillary, and it ain't gonna work for you, Griffin. Now guys, this press conference is long, and there's some pretty interesting stuff I could cover in a second video. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see it.